Welcome to the online lesson for English literature. How are you, my dear students of grade 7? I hope you all will be fine. Here is your teacher, Mrs. Naula. Today we are going to do a brief analysis of the short story, The Lad Lady. You can find the main text of this short story from page number 4 to page number 18 in your English literature book. And here we have two main objectives for our today's online lecture. The students will know how a narrative style is made part of a short story. They will also understand about the characterization in a story. In this short story, we have two main characters. The first one is the landlady. Another character is Billy Weaver. What are their ages? What are they talking about? What is the relation between them? Where do they live? Okay, what is the conclusion of the story? Okay, so we will see all the details as different events will keep unfolding throughout the short story. Now you can see two main characters of the short story are two main protagonists. This is landlady. And he is Billy Weaver. Billy Weaver is a young man of 17 years age, while the age of this landlady is almost 45 or 50 years. This landlady is very rich. She has got a very huge building. She is living alone in her building. In this short story, we do not have any description or any hint about her relatives like husband, sons, daughter or any cousin, nothing. We do not have any details. Okay, and also here we have another person whose name is Billy Weaver. Now we are going to see how do they meet each other. Okay, and how do they react to each other. We will see all the details and what is the significance of this parrot who is in the cage. Whether it is dead or alive, you will come to know later. Billy Weaver, whose age is 17, is traveling from London to Bath. For the first time, he is going to that city. He has no information or knowledge about that city. Still, he is feeling quite confident that he will get a suitable lodging. Okay. He is traveling by train. Once he has reached the other city, now his first priority is to find a suitable place or any boarding house where he can stay for two or three days here. He is wearing a navy blue overcoat, a new hat, he is carrying a suitcase and he is roaming throughout the city, he is going from one place to another to find a suitable place. Of course, you might just students when you go to another city, so first of all you try to find a reasonable place of accommodation, such as reasonable place of accommodation that will not cost you much. Okay. For the same purpose, Billy Weaver is going from one place to another. We will see whether he is successful in his mission or not. Suddenly, he notices a banner on the window of an hotel. On that banner, two words are written very clearly, bed and breakfast. Now, he is attracted by these two words. He thinks that maybe, maybe this new place will be very inexpensive for him and he will not have to pay much money. So that's why he tries to go there. When he presses the bell, this landlady pops up. She appears. She welcomes Billy Weaver with a warm smile. She asks him to step inside as the wind is very cold outside and he will be in trouble if he stays for a long time outside. Okay. Now, apparently Billy Beaver is hesitant because earlier he was going to the Bell and Dragon, that is another place. He was going there to get his room, but as I told you earlier, he was also trying to save his pennies so that he could use that money for rainy days in case he needs some extra money. So that's why he tried to approach this uh, boarding house which is in the possession of land lady. This landlady is living alone in, the, in this big building. She not only opens the door for Billy Bieber, also she welcomes him. Okay. Now here you can see landlady is very much satisfied. She looks like a mother to Billy Bieber. Okay. She behaves very nicely. She welcomes him. 
she talks very politely she doesn't use any rude or harsh language also she shows the room where he is going to stay all the furniture articles and different decoration items in the room have been placed very neatly and beautifully now this is a room where billy weaver is going to stay here you can see on the threshold landlady is standing she is asking him to unpack himself and later he will go downstairs to sign the book my dear students whenever you go to any new place or any hotel to get an accommodation you have to mention your information about your address about the contact number about your place of living and the purpose of arrival to that city so the same is being done by billy weaver okay once he has mentioned his name in the register of the receptionist table this landlady you can see she is smiling she brings tea for billy weaver she is serving tea to billy weaver billy weaver doesn't know what is going to happen to him in the next few hours while they are taking tea she keeps talking about different matters about different things she tries to get the confidence of billy weaver and somehow she is successful as billy weaver doesn't show any kind of reaction as i told you earlier this billy weaver has taken tea now soon after taking tea billy weaver doesn't feel okay he feels suffocated he thinks that something is going to happen wrong now he has realized that he has come to a wrong place he should not have come here but there is no way out now in that city none of his relatives or friends is living so how can he inform other person about his trouble now this billy weaver means young man has been completely trapped by the land lady who is actually not a sincere woman as billy weaver has taken a tea that contains some poisonous material billy weaver has passed away he is dead now you can see the face of landlady she is going to keep the dead body of billy weaver forever in her place she will preserve the body by applying some special spices and material so that in the body will not decompose and that's the end of the story my dear students i hope you will have understood all the events of the story it's very interesting very suspenseful i hope you will have enjoyed it a lot please read the whole text of the short story for more clarity of the ideas thank you very much for attending the online lectures see you next time with a new activity till then bye bye